What's going on guys, it's Liam and welcome back to another YouTube video today. In today's video we'll be doing the second episode of Talk With Lixum and I just want to say a massive thank you for the great support and feedback on the first episode. Now on today's episode we'll be doing it with a very good friend, of course Remy. I've known him for about two to three years now and um, I just wanted to get his insight on the whole situation, how he's staying motivated and um, how he's dealing with this. So yeah, welcome bro. Cheers bro, thanks for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure. So um, of course we're going to kick it off with the first question. What have you been doing to uh, stay motivated during isolation? What have you been up to and what have you been working on? Uh, I think like everyone else, it's kind of taken uh, a bit of uh, getting used to, getting adjusted to. Of course. Um, I think it's a really interesting time and a really important time for everyone. Um, for someone like me, who's quite on the go, busy, um, running around, you know, working here, there and everywhere, different jobs. It's been good to kind of step back and... yeah not relax but to kind of um you know kind of have a bit of self-care a bit of time but to it, myself let's put stuff into perspective as well doesn't it i guess it does massively um and before and before we carry on i just want to say remy as well as being on social media he does work several jobs so as well as having to cope with you know creating content from home he's also you know having to deal with getting used to not getting up at like you know, he might still be getting up at five o'clock, but not getting up at five o'clock, going to the office, going to work, you yeah. know. So it's as well as like creating content, it's also getting used to a complete switch in the real lifestyle, I guess you could say as well. So Yeah, and I think for creatives like us, um, obviously that side of my life, kind of going to work the nine to five, that's not there anymore. Yeah. I am working from home still, but I'm also yeah. in the position now where I can sort of expand on my creative side. Um delve into different things obviously doing this with yourself video is obviously really important yeah uh, something i've been meaning to do so this is actually my first kind of youtube kind of video stepping onto the platform so yeah. this is obviously a crucial time to kind of build on new skills kind of explore and expand on things that i wanted to do for a while i think it's making yeah. the most of the time that you have that's so important at the definitely. moment definitely definitely so um regarding like productivity obviously in your like day-to-day -day life is normal obviously you'll wake up like get ready for work, do some work from home, whether you're collecting packages and go to work, get home, yeah. create content, edit, you know, finish off work stuff. How have you, like, stayed productive? Like, how have you, of course, like, it's very hard, like, and at the end of the day, I, I think everyone can agree, it's always at the back of your mind. For some reason, whether, however strong you are as a person, like, it's just, the change of lifestyle is just, re like, really difficult to cope with. So how yeah. have you, you know, how have you, like, made sure you stay productive? Like as well as staying productive, how have you like made sure you have like how much yeah. like sticking to schedules and I think it's really important to kind of look at having a schedule still. Uh, I think the first kind of week or so, um, I was just getting used to the For idea. Um, yeah, definitely same as me. And then now I've kind of changed my mindset a bit and adapted. I think now I need a schedule. Yeah. Now I put things in place. I write lists down. Um, I have yeah. allocated time to different tasks. So I might have, you know, work to do in the daytime. And then I say, right, I'll give up an hour or so to read or I'll go out for mm. my, my daily exercise, however long that is, an hour, two hours, whatever. I'll have some time to obviously do editing, create content. So it's, I think yeah. it's important to keep that schedule still. And I know... How, um... Go on. I know some people kind of are in the mindset of, well, I've got all this time now. Um, I could just do whatever I want. There's no, there's no kind of schedule routine but i yeah. think it's really still important to maintain some form of schedule some form of routine uh, and that discipline just so that when you know when we come out the other end you're still exactly you know, you're like, still on the we, schedule so. we don't like like yourself obviously you're in a similar kind of position where yeah. you're always on the go you're always out shooting whether jobs you know here abroad yeah. or whatever but you obviously I think, still have that discipline i'm sure yeah i think it's because I think it's because this essentially it's you know this is like my living I guess mm. and it's 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 how I make my money can and you know it's how I make a living how I how I you know it's how I fill my days up so I think that's that's this is what I said on the previous one as well I've got to remember that there is a life afterwards you know yeah 100%. And, you know so and I try to minimize my time on social media during this time exactly um, yeah because of course like. You know, there's a lot of stuff going around social media. <laughs> a like, lot, whatever, a you lot know, of stuff. And a lot of it's not true. And as well as much as it's important to be aware and keeping up with the whole situation, a lot of it's obviously not true. A lot of it's yeah. just putting things in your head. You know, so. But how do you think this? How do you think this will affect productivity after this is? 
you know do, do you know what what, do you know how, what? How, what do you think you'll do differently you know i think it's it's getting into good habits um yeah, and i think we want to look back at this time and i said that to myself today i want to look back at this time i don't want to be in the mindset of right had we don't know how long this is going to go on for it could be um two months three months four months six months yeah. whatever we, we don't actually know yet we're not in that position to to see ahead into the future but we don't want to look back at or i don't want to look back at this time and think well i had x amount of months or weeks or whatever and i didn't kind of do anything with my time didn't do anything yeah definitely. so we, we we obviously want to come out the other side with some form of either whether it's a skill either a change of mindset yeah change in attitude whatever um so yeah. for, for me personally i'm using this time to build on skills that i've always wanted to build on or explore different things whether that's you know and what what are and what are some of them things like as you were going to mention there well things like you know even basic things like um cooking meals you know yeah exor- like different 100%. forms of exercise you know i'm starting to run i haven't run for, for how many years you know i've been in the gym but yeah. I've, I've never been a big fan of cardio so i'm getting into running uh, i'm yeah. trying to practice video editing and uh, that's yeah. a new skill that i really wanted to build on um i'm trying to learn different language you know mm. oh wow. um, okay so there's different there's different things awesome. i think we need to kind of look at a bigger picture sometimes and yeah, just definitely. and it's not just right i've got 12 weeks of i can do whatever i want i can watch netflix i'm not saying that's a bad thing like watching netflix and having time to yourself and relaxing yeah but at the end of the day you've got free time we've got internet we've got phones we've got unlimited I mean, resources yeah, I mean, when we're like you know when we're in the busy lifestyle that we are like i guess we'd we'd usually like beg for this time exactly you know exactly. like whilst i'm like you know working with a lot of clients I'm, sometimes i'm like oh i'd love to just have more time to create exactly. like youtube videos and stuff like that there so so yeah so um yeah but do you, so and of course like i'm guessing with the running and stuff like that you're gonna as well i'm guessing you're gonna try and continue that after as well yeah it, so everything that you're learning now and doing now you want to kind of you know i think it's going to teach you to you know as much as you're working and everything like that you're going to try and balance it more to because this is giving you time to test the things that you wish you had time to test yeah no 100 percent. you know so like obviously it'll and of course it's going to be i mean it's going to be how do you think you'll cope with going back into it you know how, how you know because of course i mean everyone can say it's a completely different like yeah. type of lifestyle you know so how do you think you'll cope with going back into the i guess nine to five like whilst doing all this i guess I, you'd say. I think that's why i kind of say the discipline part is so crucial yeah um because obviously so, it's, so it, you want to be able trying to, to make it not a big change isn't it I guess? yeah trying to obviously have this time to yourself and almost enjoy it you know yeah be to be blessed with time to to focus on things you want to do is yeah. is a blessing that you have to say um 100% yeah. but you don't want 100%. you don't want to you want to make that that change into the old routine and and not be like well what the hell like i've just spent three yeah. months sat down on the couch or the sofa or mm. whatever and i've lost that motivation that drive so I think yeah. it's keeping the mind ticking, keeping active. I'm reading a lot of stuff. I'm researching different things that take my interest. Do you know what I mean? So I'm keeping myself, yeah, my 100%. brain ticking. I'm keeping my body ticking. And then I almost, yeah. I almost, I'm almost saying to myself, well, if we went back tomorrow, I'd be able to just like flip like a switch and Float just go back, back into, into it. it. So um, yeah, I don't want to be out coming up. Well, with I saw that risky. you. Um... I saw that you became a volunteer as well. Yeah, it's a, that's a really NHS. important thing for me. So, um, yeah, definitely. My my mum actually works in the NHS, so obviously, um, okay. it's really close to my heart. You know, something that's really important to me, yeah. and I'm trying to do whatever I can just to make to that a little bit of difference and support. So, yeah, um, yeah, I've signed up to be a volunteer. Um, it's currently in like the testing phase at the moment. Um, so yeah. I think over the next week or so. They're gonna kind of launch it live and make everyone kind yeah. of get out. So I'm gonna be uh, transporting medicines and things like that. So it's gonna be uh, oh, awesome. a really good thing for me. Um, and also, awesome. for the and another thing is, um, of course, like a lot of people during this time, you know, I don't know if it's with yourself as well. A lot of people with certain situations will be thinking it's hard. It's sometimes hard to remember that it's not you're not on your own with it. You know. Yeah. So what 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 have you had to like deal with and how have you 
got over it, I guess? Like, what have you, have you run through any, like, mindset issues, I guess you could say, like, and how have you kind of taught yourself to get over it? Um, I think uh, everyone's human and yeah, it's it's uh, it's an unprecedented time, you know, that you hear that phrase now um, yeah. all the time. But it is, like, we've not been through this, like, for, you know, the last kind of big thing probably was the... The world war or you know the wars yeah that exactly before. is that for a lot of us it's one of the first world situations you know yeah to, to deal with cope with and exactly. especially like i mean i mean probably like regarding like isolation it's probably one of the first things for the past you know 50 plus years to happen so yeah so you know it's obviously a big change but i think it's important to to recognize that you're gonna go through the motions of well some days you feel down you know it, yeah it change definitely. it change you know i think i find that my mood changes i don't know about you but my mood kind of it can change i can be having a good morning um oh, mate, and it's 100%. and it's important like you said obviously limiting time watching news and stuff like that because you might yeah. watch the news and then it sort of changes your mood completely um, yeah well personally i just like personally what i do i i'll work and then if i hear something's going on the tv or radio about it from the government that's when i'll watch it and then i'll come straight back to my room like just because i don't want to i don't want to fill my head with like false information because you know in any situation in any kind of thing like social media can really brainwash you i guess like yeah you, know, you see one thing and then that, that's just how you think so yeah and like you said there's I a think, lot of stuff going around yeah, but I, I just one thing I don't want to look at my screen time at all during the, all this because I've been you know I've been sat on my laptop, sat on my desktop, on my mm. phone like so much, and I think it's it's hard because it's the end of the day like in the de- normal day today. Obviously, used I'm used to like going about spending like ten hours outside shooting, which is obviously healthy, getting fresh air, mm-hmm. and then coming back spending probably equal time editing. So I think I'm having to like I'm having to like I don't know it's it's having to accept the fact that you i mean there's no nothing else to do especially as like a photographer than other city your laptop yeah. and go through other things so i think it's important i got you know i'm going on like a walk once a day mm-hmm. whether it be like half an hour or an hour just to like get away from it because yeah, I've got, at the end of the day to work i've got no choice but to be at a screen yeah so I, it's it's uh yeah productivity is a it's a tough one to crack during this time yeah i was gonna say it's to you kind of to, obviously as a creative, you want to um, get out and shoot, and now you're stuck inside, just, and you probably yeah. just you've got, you know, I, I know obviously you, you backlog with like old clients and stuff, and you're probably still editing. Yeah. What have you kind of done that is not in the photography kind of sphere or this kind of industry? Is there anything that you kind of explored that isn't in photography? Yeah. Or is is that well is that something that you've not really? No, I've, 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 I've been. Not, I'd say manifesting and also planning just how to expand my brand outside of like just taking pictures. Mm-hmm. So, for example, like I've I've set my website up, um, which of course like which is a process of turning myself into a business. Yeah, you know, um, whether that be you know turning into like a creative agency or turning into like a production company or just overall expanding my own personal self. Yeah, um, which then of course that will then you know, hopefully, um, in the near future, expand into a team, which then, be- which then expands me into like directing things rather than shooting things. And you know, I've done a lot of research just into how to, how to like progress as a cameraman. I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, how to progress as a cameraman, but not in a way of just shooting like high caliber people. If you know what I mean. How to progress um, within the industry outside of shooting as a photographer it's quite like a complex topic and yeah i think it's 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 about you know turning turning yourself like into a business you know uh, that's something i, really, and I think really of want course to you've control. got a lot of experience like you've got a lot of experience like you know starting businesses like and keeping them running especially within like the pr and social media and stuff yeah yeah and it is tough like it's 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 a very odd especially researching it it's a very like tough tough topic to to really knuckle down on because you don't really you can't really doesn't you don't really know your niche until you've put your finger in like every hole kind of thing yeah no 100 percent. i think that's you know it's so it's so key that you touched on that because um i've seen what you've been doing obviously you know rebranding and 
you know, redesign your yeah. website and things like that. And I think for creatives, especially at this time, photographers, they can't go out, you can't shoot. What can you no. do to put yourself in a better position in this, however long it is, whether it's yeah. three months or six months or whatever, we don't know. But can you come out the other side yeah. and say, right, in that time, I've branded myself. I've got, you know, mm. I look more professional now than I did before. Um, yeah. And come out the other end I think, being positive. I think one thing, I think one thing, um, of course, regarding improving, like as well, like you know, a lot of people are doing home photography and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, which I hundred percent agree with, which is cool. You know, it's building your skills, but realistically, like that's not what you're going to be doing afterwards. You know. So, for example, like regarding like your habits, like going on runs and stuff, that's stuff you can keep up. Yeah. Like afterwards, but regarding like home photography, you get you know. You're gonna be going out and shooting more or less. So I think it's more work. It's more work about working on mindset. Yeah. And also building a foundation, you know, online because that's what uh, that's where the majority of people post the work. You know, I think it's more about building a foundation and building your your brand and your your appearance online. Um, to post your work afterwards or to post previous work. You know, because if you've got the skill, you know, if you've got the skill going out. Um, to shoot outside i think if you're doing a lot at home you, you can you don't want to rinse you know you don't want to you don't want to be like well i'm going to shoot just because of so, just for something to do you know what i mean yeah. because you can very quickly lose your passion for it as well especially if we're in for like three months inside for three months yeah you know you don't want to you don't want to rinse your passion doing that um but obviously it's important to build your skills like that but i think it's as i said it's super important just to Build a foundation, whether it be your mindset um, or actual like physical things like a website or like making new 100%. Instagrams for new work or getting on different platforms. Yeah, expanding. Um, like everyone's on obviously everyone's on I TikTok think, now, trying, trying to yeah, launch their TikTok yeah, careers. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think it's I think as a photographer who who shoots outdoors and stuff, I think it's important just to build a foundation, um, as well as like your actual camera skills, like behind the camera, build a foundation to be able to represent like present your work because at the end of the day taking the photos is one thing but you don't want you don't want the like presentation of your work to make your photography look bad if you know what i mean yeah. you want to put it on like a platform that looks professional yeah, you know exactly so i think that's one thing i've been focusing on like focusing on like mindset and um, it's a soul making sure time, that Pardon? It's a it's a kind of a soul searching time to yeah hundred percent i mean i've put so many things into perspective like i've just been like you know, all that's been going through my head is as soon as I come out of this, I just want to completely crush it, you know, as well, exactly, you know, because, yeah. you know, if we're in for like three months, then as much as we can say, you know, we've done this during the three months, etc., you know, we, we somewhat we are behind a bit because yeah, we've right, not been able 100%. to perform at, perform at like the rate we would 100%. like normally and, kind of thing. So, And I think that's really important because I think people, you we're, we're kind of, I think people are kind of in two different categories all kind of two different mind yeah. frames where right i'm gonna come out of this and i'm gonna go out and party with my friends and mm. go on holiday mm. and buy those yeah. clothes like and don't get me wrong that is yeah. like we've yeah, obviously been inside yeah. for how many months but you want to well that's like you want to it's like yeah you want to kind of make it's up like that lost life, time it, I guess. yeah you want to make up that lost yeah. time I'm not saying there's anything wrong with like coming out of this and enjoying yourself and being social again because yeah. that's really important but at the same time we've got to think long term and think right we've lost this amount of time we need to get back on yeah. it well that's how i feel and that's i think it's how about like well. in in the in the space of like the three months it's like well if this didn't happen then yeah you know the progression you would have made in that three months do you want to lose that or do you want to gain that plus more yeah you know yeah because no doubt as soon as i come out of this like wow i'm gonna be so like so motivated just to you know I'm, I'm excited to shoot like i'm excited to you know because at the end of the day when, when you do it every single day it, it can become very draining especially when you know even if it's your job and stuff like that it becomes very draining and you get very tired from it and not you don't lose like the lack of motivation for it but physically yeah you can't you, kind of it just yeah it can, kind yeah of, um, it, it, it yeah. gets very tiring so yeah but but of course i think i think a lot of people needed this as well i mean yeah you know, I think the past two years, obviously this year it's slowed down a bit because we've been doing our own things a lot more. But the past two years, we've been, you know, we've been everywhere and stuff. So yeah, and 
and it, and to be honest, if I if you know if I said to you like six months ago, oh maybe you should just take like a month off work, you'd be like, no. like you know we would have looked at that like no, like Never. because then we're gonna lose time. Never, yeah. Um, so of course it's like a blessing in disguise, really. It like, is, and I think that's how you got to look at it. That's how you got exactly how you got to look at it. Yeah. And I think we'll look back in however many years, five, ten, whatever years, and say, well, that yeah. we had that time where we were all kind of stuck inside and we had that yeah. time to ourselves and. We're not, we're not on the front line of, uh, you know, we're not fighting the war. Like we're literally, we're stuck no. inside. We've got all the resources. Like we've got internet. Yeah. We're, we're kind of, we are blessed as a generation. We've got everything at our fingertips. 100%, yeah. Um, so it is a blessing in disguise. And we need to make the most of it, I think. Yeah. Well, to wrap up this episode, um, if there's one tip you can give to um, anybody. Yeah. Um, what to to stay productive and to keep in a positive mindset during this you know time? Yeah. What, what would you What would you say? Um, I think it's kind of um, it's hard to answer that in kind of a concise way, but I'd say um, understand that you're gonna have different emotions. Um, they're gonna fluctuate. Your mood will fluctuate. Um, yeah. Keep you know keep um, staying positive and motivated by speaking to friends. Use this time wisely. You know, tell people how Definitely. you feel. Um, chat with them, see how they feel. They're, they're probably feeling the same way. Um, write down your goals, write down your dreams, write down your ambitions. Um, you know, that's really important, I think. Um, you know, find the way that, I think this is a really important thing is find out how you learn or what works for you. Um, yeah, definitely. It's, definitely it's, find the best way. Yeah, you've got, it's tough because obviously you can't practice like, you know, it's tough because you, you've got to learn that from home, I guess. Exactly, but we're, you know, we're blessed but, with the time to do that. So so now is the time, whether yeah, you're um, someone that learns by, you know, going on YouTube, watching videos, whether you learn mm. by reading, whether you learn, you know, any different kind of type of way. Like Excel on that time. Exactly, like use this time to figure out what works for you. Um, yeah. And, and I think the important thing is don't kick yourself for having bad days or bad periods or being no, unmotivated not. like we're all in the same position we're all feeling the strain mm -hmm. um yeah. and yeah hopefully we can all come out of this learning a, a valuable lesson coming out of this with the other side um yeah. appreciating the little things the small things that you know um yeah. that we didn't before and um hopefully you know the world will be a better place i hope from all this somehow definitely definitely well, uh, it's been a pleasure to speak to you. Yeah, and, um, thank you, bro. Thanks I was looking forward me. to this one for ages because, you know, I know you've got so much to say and, you know, you've achieved a lot. And, yeah, so it's been a really great time speaking to you. And um, thank you for all the information, all the advice you give it to everyone. Thank so, you, um, bro. I hope you guys, me. of course, I hope you guys did benefit from this one. Uh, you can check Remy out in the link in the description below. His Instagram will be there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought of this. Make sure um, you drop a like on this video as well. And as I said, just let me know what you thought, what you gained from it, who you want me to do the next one with, if there's anything else you want me to cover, whatever top, whatever like specific topics um, for the next episode. And um, yeah, as I said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button, like, comment, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.